Hello Year 1. Today's maths lesson is in two parts. The first one is the maths journal. We're going to talk you through this first. And then when you've done the maths journal, perhaps you could have a go at the review on Google Classroom and it's pages 49 to 56 to see how much you can remember of all the things we've been doing on multiplication. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at this. We need our Sally and Sammy sharp eyes to look at the picture. So we've got lots of things going on here. We've got children in teacups. We've got children in racing cars and children in train carriages. But if you notice very carefully, all of these little groups are equal that's right they're all the same so in these teacups there are three children in each cup they are equal groups in each racing car there are two children they are equal groups in the, each train carriage there are four children they are equal groups now your challenge today is can you make three stories about equal groups there's some words here to help you car train carriage teacup let's see if we can do one together let's look at the teacup the teacups we need to make up a story about these teacups and the children we could say there are three children in each teacup. So we could write that here in our story. There are three children in each There's, there are three children. Now, how many teacups are, are there? There are three teacups. So we've got three children in each teacup and three teacups. So how many children are there all together? There are... Can we remember counting in threes? Three, six nine well done there are nine children all together there we are that's three little sentences about here or you could make it into one big sentence can you do the same about the cars and the train carriages when you've finished have a little go at this self-check. Could you say, I know how to make equal groups? And if you can, give it a tick. I know how to add equal groups to find the total number of objects. If you can, give it a tick. I know how to solve word problems about multiplication. If you can, give it a tick, do a thumbs up and well done, have a go. When you've finished this, and you can spend as long as you want on this, See if you can have a go at the review on pages 49 to 56. Well done.